Like the father splits his tongue down the middle, like a dog laps at the blood, like there's an ink into which seeing passes, an ink of vultures pocked in mist, an ink like a cuttlefish of the fist. Trying to get a maximal grip, I want to stop. I am the blistering qualia of all that lives. I am the sock filled with meat, but that is not money. There are nautiluses in the corn, but the nautiluses spray debris. Bull draped in a mirror of sweat sp sprays corn and blubber. I am listening to whale song in the alien corn. Drinking the blood back into itself, ever weak willed, black eggs for Christmas. Desire is not insatiable tall salt, not anything that tumbles out of us and smacks of inevitability. Red row pouring from us in, in soft, slow clusters. Red row at the height of my life, like a wall of wild flowers. Happily I explore bunches of cherries under the happily I explore bouquets of paradise roses inside of happily from Paris there sun a little bunch of roses. I am shrill, barking through a waterfall at black rock. These odalisks on the moss take their color from the falling water and the sky, take their color from the snakes that cool themselves and drink between the rocks, take their color from the fine mist, the rainbow's light. One is not to cower, one is to stand straight. One is not to cower, not to ease or release. One is to grip straight, one is to tense right. One is to grit the straight teeth. One is to tense and arc the blood. One is to style and tense the blood. One is to grip right. To hell with those that hand themselves over, the vents are warm. To hell with those that hand themselves over to me. To hell with those that hand themselves over. To hell with those that hand themselves over to me, that warm themselves in me. We all have something to say. How soft. We all have screen doors to press our light through, to press our soft money through. We all have holes, souls, black widow hourglasses to pass our winsome lightnesses through. Who floods, loosens us. Who can blend, release me from my, often I am chittering and swayed, often bright Christmas tree budding in the veins, often I am permitted to ultraviolet funnels. I can bend light, I can drink heat, I can disembowel my seeing. And am seeking the bleeding vent. Get me on my feet, help me stand. The roads are black, the roads are iced, the roads are choked with snow. The roads are staggered meat, fresh ribcage of a deer. What is meat to common shall suffer? What is meat to sides of venison covered in moss? I'm moving ahead a bit in the manuscript. Black beads of sweat rain down. Beads stop the drilling. Droplets of unyielding ore. Black droplets of sweat rain down on houses, on the fur of sweat-drenched Dobermans. Glossy black drops water the eyes, the teeth fold dull lead. A spray of black droplets from the mouth is ink and leathered lion. The table set, blood ruptures cloth speakers. The oxtail broth settles, sunrise ice, no colorless ice or cloth dot that crushes sundown's multi-beaked array, dusty black macaw for dinner, black foam from cloth speakers, black foam bright sand from cloth speakers. I'm trying to understand what soft taste is this, teriyaki. Chanel, don't make me laugh. I'm trying to die. I'm trying to drive while the windows caked in ice and the pink birthday cake of our deaths sputters donyas. Donyas of spine spread of sun, of rope hacked spine, of bleeding Nero's running through crowds of donyas. Donyas are bleeding, shall be heard, but first we break the back, first pack the ribs with eggs. To die is then glass in the milk and woven through the cheeks. To die is drier and the milk hotter. What of our feet, and shall they sew? What of our eyes, and shall they sew? What of our cheeks, and shall they sew? Who shall dislodge us? Braid that holds the stomach intact. Amber droplets that hold the wood grain tight. 
A cut of mango in the mouth is whatever I take, I take into my chest. The invisible worm that flies in the night carries its cut mouth across Bay Street and Blue Hill Road, leaves its mound of powdered glass against the corner store. Friends say the invisible worm that flies in the night burns beneath the scales of the gumbo limbo tree. Certain styles which are discs, which are crisp or supple wafers, on which are printed stars, on which are printed stars pimpled or rimmed in tender teeth, in which are hours drawn crisp or supple, in which are names stretched and smoked, in which are piles of dried fish. The mounds of row are so bright today, it's like I see the sun for the first time. It's like I see the sun clearly in the idea of it. It's like I see the sun clearly in the black mounds of shine, in the swollen clear of it. How art thou art and tensile strength, and thou art right to style strength. How thou art undone and are not strength, but bitter fungal discs risen along the waist. Sifted or plainly armored, crocodiles rise along the bank. Golden night falls on crocodile, crocodile backs, but falls lightly, falls, settles, and is ingested. But how is style brightly bitter, bitter torso and bitter bark? styled skin across which bitter white discs begin to lift. Take a blade to the brain coral and press. Take a hardened stomach, wrinkled cashew, and press. The cameras unpack tragics, holes so styled the eyes lice light. Give us a sense of your absolute last. First, the channels fine meshed currents drawn beneath steel wire and passing cars, first the pelicans perched on channel markers, and first the sound of wet towel falling and hands complicit in love of the serpent, first golden legs braided in the grass, or is it morning and do we wake to find, it is morning and do we find, lament for the makers, for form is all, salt is all, sand, light and air is all, Medusa with her brain coral gaze at the bottom of the sea is all, sun's descent is all, and laughing, loosely laughing, these bricks that I collect that stand my spine straight, and like a candle, gnashes in laughing, weeps, blisters in laughing, still none of us are known. Some lime-colored kites narrow and attempt to track you, but there are rows of razors along your palms, and you are friable as the mint leaves in which you cool your eyes. You are on the sill, broken with limes, struck by lightning in whose ballooned and dry chambers wasps have set their eggs. The red clay comes hard. At our backs are the thinking targets. At our sides are the thinking stars. At our middles, fibrous sop and drain of hearts that resist, that release certain tubers, certain hands. What we are speaking of is will, which flowers forward from the throat, which forks, which fibrous locks, January's seeing. Wind muskets, one. A minimum of amplitude. I saw him padding through water, saw what in another life might have been an indication of struggle. What we have here then, is one crashing through planks, trying to stand upright. When it was improbably fallen into an oil slick, I felt my heart drawn shut, stomach boxed, and shipped into dunes. I could say that, reaching toward me, he pleaded, he did, but in my memory the event was soundless, a bulletproof cage tipped into an abyssal. What happened was, he never sank. As I was looking at him, something seemed to grab him by the heart and draw back relentlessly, as on a rope. Two. The one who is me at that particular point in time is walking the streets of Miami Beach toward the one who is here now, folded up like a blanket with you. A pulse drives him on. A libidinous streamer is tied to his wrist. How to speed along and so denote a sense of urgency, or paint the face and let it glide up, not just in front of you, but from within you, a face unfolding out of your body to address you face to face. Entering the Raleigh Hotel, he is struck by blasts of air-conditioned air that fan out across the pale steps. We, we determine that going no further, and yet too, continuing onward, results in numbing wounds. Entering the lobby, the, the stacked light gives way to gelded, suede, and dark. 
Rest assured, I am crossed. I am crossing the lobby and entering the hallway, announcing my intention as this, the fourth floor. His white noise wringing its hands, a nosebleed. I am the noise that is pleading to the noise that is listening. My insolent varieties of actions bonded together, guided into this hotel room, this present noise. The urgency that what we must do is to remain cool while waiting. I watch the greyhound blimp cutting, a cutting against rose sky, dang high lie, every weeknight. The high lie sling of involuntary memory lays its crack into the wall. Once again left to my own devices when I would so much rather subsist on the generosity of others. This, the waiting, is a cord of inexplicable anguish breaking into planks. Three. I anticipate that something should come, unlocking the room and driving us out of the hotel, to satisfy what has been promised to us by these transactions. The one who is the key to these transactions enters the room. The one who is the key to these transactions enters, guiding a herd of familiar actions. There is nothing here other than the ear-piercing definition of one among friends who, like a billfold passed from face to self and other, has capitulated under the weight of a nod. I may as well find myself a corner of a room in which to sleep. Or are the apartments still vacant? I could throw down a sheet and wouldn't be more than a day. The one who enters the room, however, is like a watercolor painted on a jade bowl, and I am here to listen, here to say, if nothing else, have we not come together to strike a deal? Chill. I hope the desert is just a rest stop, and that, my dears, above all else, we appear sophisticated. Have you ever seen genuine porcelain fixtures? Lately, all the eggs hold a dot of blood, and lately in films, a sophisticated sorcery flows over the ceilings, and I see it. Such a sorcery has made the rooms flaxen and dry, like candy. Such a sorcery has made the infinity of holes fanning out beyond the ceilings swoon and purse a little. Still, there is a word for what I am seeing, a word for what I have not seen. Stacked cakes like cocaine or coal, pedaled along on a wood cart, this to warm the rooms by. The word errant, perhaps. The word leading us from one plank to the next over the undisturbed surface of the channels. As the planks lay out, our steps pour out. As the green koi and the blonde koi have plans for us, so I step off the improvised barges and face the pines in their compact freshness. So I am like a wound folded back from either side of the flesh that has opened me. I bear forward, and may I continue to bear, mermaid-like, specter-white, forward as on a prow, toward figures of rope and cuttlefish, toward the continuing parabolas of green dialects. <coughs> Wrath. If awnings collapse into the earth and reveal jars untouched for an age, if I brush the soul from your face and distract you with the scent of mineral oil and cashmere, if the streets crowd with boys spilling from window shades, raw, bra raw brown papers stacked up, then the birds of paradise also hang from bits of wire around their feet by scandalous holes in their necks. Last one. Thank you all for coming. Help me down. We take stock of the forearms. They're like red snapper, slick and sharp. They're like glass. You see, I am falling through my pleasure like an intimacy of mirrors rubbing against the face, and you cannot uncut the stomach. It is a dive. Here is the heat because we must begin. Red rainbow spread like a hawk's gills. Red rainbow tied off in its black holes, which dot the ceiling because it is enough. A nurse raises her beak from my chest. All my vultures are warm and with gold discs for heads. All my vultures are form. Lord, find me. Who is another? Where is the flesh of gain? Venture and thighs of gold and living glass. I forget that I consented to wander, to wander by the pier. I can scent that I wander and am like paper, a black kite wet with night. Grid, I am good, and like the eon, a child playing with colored balls. In the hall, because they know me, the young ones, the eternally. They see the stela in the flesh of my throat, they divine the throat rod and its glyphs. 
bright to burn and nurse on cold, marrow-like light. It is midnight, and I am speed cut into thirds of day. I am threes everlasting and hells of foment. Then I stand like eternal resistance, like hell. No one who walks over this ground senses it is sound. Look again. We find ourselves on the shore, and the flame follows us. It flows through our speaking. It is here. I have failed again. I am no longer. I am failed. I am first to run aground. I am seen. Let us style vital light. New moon again, but I am light. We are not otherwise. We are seen. How shall I stand? How shall I be seen? The morning curled around us like warm, like I am clasped by infinite waters. I am seen. Thank you.